Howdy! Today I'm here with a quick review of the U7G, a TV that Hisense markets as gamer-centric. Hence, I will mostly focus on how the set performs for gaming. If you're looking for more detailed information, please check out professional reviews like those on ratings.com. First, as you can see, the U7G is packaged very well. Here is a shot of what else comes in the box. And this is what it looks like going from 50 to 55 inch. Here is a manufacturer's warning that any information the TV collects might end up with the CCP. Panel uniformity is pretty good, though the grey one is a bit concerning. As you can see, there are lighter horizontal lines running across the screen. By the way, the TV has a switch to disable the built-in listening device. However, when you turn off the microphone, the four yellow eyes of doom light up and stay on non-stop. It's nothing that a little bit of duct tape can't fix. The following footage is with the TV in game mode, so please feel free to pause at any point and judge for yourself. The game mode itself by default gives somewhat more washed out and pale color. You can mitigate most of that in the settings. In some games, the UG7 does very well and there's nothing to complain about. When you switch the resolution down to 1080p, things turn real ugly. So, if your plan was to play 1080p at 120Hz, better think twice. When the TV handles the upscaling, it tends to make colors a bit wonky and introduces a lot of image sharpening. For much better results, if you can, either play in 4K or make sure it's your video card that does the upscaling instead. The main problem with the 7.9G, however, as mentioned in the video title, is ghosting. As you'll see now, in some games it can be quite atrocious. The TV supports variable refresh rate, though according to Windows the lower limit is 48Hz, reducing its practicality. Keep in mind though, enabling VRR disables local dimming. All that said though, the TV does quite well outside of game mode, if you don't mind the lower responsiveness. In the end, this might be a TV marketed toward gamers, but in my opinion, it's better suited for watching video. Motion handling is not at the level of the top brands, there's some stuttering in panning shots and a bit of jitterness in animation, but otherwise, image quality is hard to beat at this price point. Hopefully this was useful to some of you. Cheers! We'll make sure this hurts you, free wall!